I don't know how many times I've filmed this because I am really bad at it, apparently. So bad that I didn't even introduce myself. Okay. Hi, I'm Naomi, or Naomi in Japanese. And I like to make many different things like drawing, making music, crafting, but most important of all, learning Japanese. And this is what this video is about, and hopefully my entire channel. So during this video, you're going to be able to see me take the JLPT test, which is the Japanese language proficiency test. Well, I'm not going to take the test, just a practice test to see where I'm at to begin my journey to learn Japanese. Okay, let's go back to the video. Oh, and also, throughout the video, I keep on saying JPTL test or the PTLJ test. As long as you have the J, the L, the P and the T, you know that's what I'm referring to. Okay. Back to the video. Anyway, at this time of the recording, it makes two, two or one day ago that I took a mock test, a practice test for the GLPT test. Uh, that was an experience. You'll see how it went. <laughs> but first, why did I take a practice test test for the JLPT? Simply because during that during this year, I'd like to intensively study Japanese. It makes maybe 10 years that I'm trying to learn Japanese and constantly fail at it. Uh, so this year is my last year of trying. I am giving myself a full year to give everything that I have to study Japanese and to do this and help me do that not only I'm taking classes uh, I'm taking classes every Saturday I have Japanese classes but I also was going to document uh, me learning Japanese so like this I can do fun stuff I can go watch movies I can go um, yeah, watch TVs, cook, so all in the ideas of helping me learning Japanese. My end goals are the following. I've always wanted to be able to watch Japanese TV uh, or, radio, or listen to radio and enjoy it. I don't need to understand it 100%. I just need to enjoy it. So that's one goal. My second goal is to try to pass the um, JLPT to actually have a paper that shows that I can kind of speak Japanese. That would be a lot of fun. And the second one is I've never watched Spirited Away and I would really like to watch it, finally watch it. Why I didn't watch Spirited Away, it's because I wanted something to help me um, motivate to uh how do we say that to motivate to cheer me up and boop nope. like help me study very hard japanese let's see how i did on my practice test for the glpt because yeah that happened <laughs> okay so i just finished work got myself some tea and I'm gonna do some mock-up test. I found a few. I found that one and I'm gonna go with this one first. Oh yeah, and we are um, September 23rd, 7 p.m. So let's try the 2018 and see, um, see what's up. Practice version vocab. So that's N1. Is that N1? Oh my god. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So, yeah. The JLPT works like this. 
the levels are in reverse first so n1 is the most advanced level whereas n5 is the lowest level so me trying n1 is way too hard for me but because i'm dumb and never do any research i didn't know that at the time anyway let's see how it went so throughout the test i made a lot of different faces like this oh my god this that or this and this at some point i got stupid and i started thinking that there was a Japanese and an English version of that test. Please, don't make me explain. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I feel like I took it in, in Japanese instead of English. Yeah, I think this one is gonna be better because goddamn. It's the same thing. Anyway, let's not spend a long time on that because I failed majestically. Let's just move forward and see what I did once I realized my mistake. Oh my god. I. I was so dumb. So I came back from my Japanese class today and we actually talk about GLPT. And turns out the levels are in the other like the the other way around. So N1 is the highest one and I wanted to try the first level. First level is N5. So I should have tried N5 as a level, not N1. That is why it was so difficult. So let me try the um, N5 and see how I do on N5. Fingers crossed that this time it goes better. <laughs> so N5. Um, hiragana de do. Okay, so I have the hiragana and I just have to f no, I have the kanji and I have to find the hiragana. Atarashi kuruma desne. Atarashi. Atarashi. There you go. Ooh, I have sound as well. Great. Tsugi. From then on. It was much easier and I could get a lot of that sound that I love so much. Arigato. It is so much better. <laughs> okay, let's speed it up because it's not very interesting what I'm doing. I'm just taking the test and having fun while doing it. So for N5, my results were pretty good. I got three mistakes out of 15, I think, uh, which is not perfect, but I know where the mistakes are coming from. They're mostly dumb mistakes. So I moved on and uh, took the N4. For the N4, I did five mistakes out of 15, which is not that great, but I know where I'm at right now. I think N4 is really my level. It's I'm not doing super great at it, but I am not super bad at it either. So N4 for an N gold is pretty good. So now that I know my level in Japanese, which is N4 and not N1, <laughs> it's N4. I'm going to try in July for the N4 to pass the N4, but because it's in July and I'm already kind of there, it's not really great, great, but I'm kind of there. I'll see if I can try for the N3 as well. But for now,
going to study hard, the JLPT doesn't really matter because it's just for for me. Uh, but what I really want is to be able to speak uh, and enjoy it, listening and watching things in Japanese. So that is pretty much it for this week. Anyway, bye bye.